Well, this is a pairing that years ago I would have never saw coming. Did you see that? Why this is happen? that, Bryce? Well, <laughs> I think we have five years of a show called Southern Charm to know why that is. Catherine's lineage is established, but just because somebody came here and had a name 200 years ago, it doesn't mean that you have class or breeding now. Did you ever think this would happen? Frankly, no. That's kind of the beauty of life, is that you can never predict what's going to happen. But safe to say you've taken this one under your wing a little bit? Yeah, we're, we're friends. We're close friends. Once sworn enemies, now besties. E.T. met up with Catherine Dennis and Patricia Altschul at Pat's home in Charleston, South Carolina for a good old-fashioned catch-up. The pair's first ever interview together. What does it mean, Catherine, to be sitting here next to Patricia? A lot of progress has been made <laughs> in my life and I think overall um, in my relationships with everyone. A lot of my problems really go back to Thomas because he was very convincing in telling me things about Catherine and we didn't have any open communication. I think Catherine has always been this Catherine, but there were bumps in the road, right. shall we say. We finally got to a point where we kind of like each other actually, it turns out. <laughs> How much time do you guys spend together now? You know, it was a slow progression from the finale. We would have the occasional dinner. But since you've had a boyfriend, I haven't seen quite as much <laughs> of you. <laughs> right, no, I've been kind of off the grid for a little while. You know the honeymoon phase sometimes, I suppose. But your ex is still very much in your life. Thomas is not on the new season, but he is still a big part of the new season. How do you feel about all the stuff that's going to be discussed on the show involving Thomas? Honestly, I think in the most neutral way possible, I'm quite numb to it. You know, I'm not, nothing surprises me, and um, it's unfortunate that negative things happen and are talked about, but it's a part of my life at this point. Um, so I just keep living in my bubble and moving on, moving forward. <laughs> What about you, Pat? Well, as you know, I have no problem giving my opinion on anything, whether anybody asks me or not. But I cannot say anything about Thomas because he served me with papers. I've, I'm subpoenaed. You won't get anything from me. After announcing his exit from the series in the wake of sexual misconduct allegations brought against him, all of which he's denied, Thomas filed a lawsuit against Bravo and the production company behind Southern Charm in part claiming producers encouraged Catherine to fight to change her custody agreement with him for the sake of drama on the show. It's just like overwhelming. His co-stars have been subpoenaed as part of the suit, but Pat did have this to say about her former friend. We were talking earlier. Somebody wrote, well, Thomas is not gonna be on the show and you know, it's, it's gonna be boring. I think this is gonna be the best season. <laughs> Can I ask you about a Thomas-related person? Oh boy. Ashley. Who would that be? <laughs> <laughs> Who pops up this season? Pops up literally <laughs> out of nowhere. <laughs> How do you feel about Ashley right now? Let's just say I'm happy with the end result of Ashley Jacobs. Patricia, the truth will come out. Hey, relax. To push me. Safe to say right now, neither of you has anything to do or wants anything to do with Ashley. Yes. Safe. That's being charitable. Catherine, did I see out there that you were trying to get a restraining order against her? Um, yes. Included in my most recent uh, motion is a restraint against her being around my children. I think it's best that she's just a non-existent human in all ways. So are she and Thomas together right now? They are and they aren't. Who knows if they're together or not together? They probably don't know either and it'll probably always be that way. Okay. Let me tell you what somebody told me. They ran into Thomas and they said, are you still with that woman? And he said, well, yeah. I mean, who else am I going to get? Actually, he said those exact words to me at one point too, but think about them. Why would he say that? He, he wouldn't. Weren't? Yeah, he wouldn't just say that for fun. It always seemed that maybe Thomas one day wanted to be back with you. Do you feel that way? It's difficult to say because I do care for him. However, I feel that I, I 
I don't know. Do you think he would ever change? I hope one day, maybe. We'll see. But I've been hoping for a long time. <laughs> Good or bad, you're in each other's lives. Yeah, exactly. What is the custody situation right now? It's still in progress. Nothing's been resolved yet, so it's a long process. All right, <laughs> season six. If you had to boil the season down just to one word, how would you describe it? One word? No, no, right. No. I don't think I can Lit. think of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's every season. <laughs> I've been a great f***ing friend you. It's off right now. I'm not even talking. You're a joke right now. Sorry. I don't think I'm letting the cat out of the bag, but the guys who have gotten away with murder are really going to get taken down a peg. But there's, there's going to be a reckoning with all of them. You need to check your goddamn pants for a vagina because you're being a pussy. What are you most excited for the viewers to get to experience about this season? For me personally, it's that I'm able to be myself and I'm not attached to anyone else or um, referenced as someone's girlfriend, someone's baby mama. Um, it's just me being me in my life. And it's I'm excited that people will just get to see that side of me. You know, I'm finally getting back to myself. That might include a little bit of her old self. What if Catherine and Whitney got back together? Yes. Can you set the record straight? What happened? Oh man. Um, <laughs> He's sitting in front of his mom. I know. I feel like <laughs> here. Let me answer this, honey. Let me okay. answer this for you. This is what Whitney told me. He said, "I love Catherine. We're good friends, but a southern gentleman would never discuss what he does with a lady." So, and a southern lady does not discuss what she does with a southern gentleman. No. Then there. You so know, there it is. You're talking about consenting adults. Who cares? My question is who cares? There you go. Well, the viewers care a lot. <laughs> um, I mean, if things, <laughs> if things were to get serious between those two, though, how would you feel if she became your daughter-in-law one day? I'd love it. How would you feel? I'd love it. <laughs>